Hi guys, this is Sadek from Grabin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to disable the DM Verity and Verification Check on any Android phone and likewise, we'll also show you how to check if the DM Verity and Verification have indeed been disabled on your phone or not. So regarding this, there's an important thing to keep in mind. While you could easily disable the DM Verity and Verification without the need for root, but if you want to check and verify if both of them have been disabled or not, for that, you will have to carry out root. In other words, I am repeating once again, if you simply want to disable the DM verity and verification, that does not require root. But if you want to verify and check if the verity and verification have been disabled, then in that case, you will have to root your phone via Magisk or kernel SU. So as of now, I have also obtained root because I have to show you my current phone status as well as the status after disabling the verification and verity checks as well. So with that said, routing is optional and you should only root if you want to verify the result. If you are sure that the verity is enabled as of now and after carrying out the tweak, it will get disabled. You don't want to perform any check, then there's no need for root. Only root your phone if you want to perform a check. So keep this point in mind and then let's get started. First off, get hold of Android SDK platform tools for my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files for platform tools. Once that is done, you will have to enable USB debugging on your phone as well. So go to the settings menu from there. You will have to go to about phone and tap on OS version or MIUI version or the build number seven times. And this will enable developer option. Now go to system or additional settings and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. So enable it and now let's verify the debugging connection. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter and make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, your next course of action is to unlock the bootloader on your phone. This unlocking is compulsory for both the cases. If you want to simply disable the verity and verification, and if you want to perform a check in both these cases, unlocking the bootloader is compulsory. For unlocking the bootloader, you may check out my guide and get this job done. I made a separate guide and a video on the same as well. You could refer to my guide and get this job done. Do keep in mind that unlocking the bootloader will wipe off all the data on your phone and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to my guide and unlock the bootloader. Once that is done, let's now get started with the first part of this guide. In the first part, I'll show you how to verify if the VB meta and verification status of your phone. Again, I'm repeating for verifying both these status, you will have to root your phone via Magisk. So in my case, I've already obtained root. And let me show you that as well. This is the Magisk app and I've obtained root as well. Let me simply do a restart and to verify the root. So now that we have obtained root on our phone, we could go ahead and verify the current status of the verity and verification. In most cases, if you're currently on the stock firmware and you haven't made any modification as such, then both the verity and verification will be enabled on your phone. But still, let's move ahead and verify the same. So for that, you will have to go to the GitHub link and from here, go to the release section and download the file. Once you have got the file, so just a minute, once you've got the file from here, do note that the file does not have any extension as such. So let me show you the file is AVB CTL. Get it from here. And once you've got the file, transfer the file inside the platform to folder on your PC. This is the platform to folder. And this is the file AVB CTL. As you can see, the file does not have any extension. That's not a cause of concern. So once you have transferred the file there, we will now have to transfer the file in onto our phone and the file transfer has to be taken place to the data local temp directory. We will transfer the file using the adb push command. This is the file name and this is the directory. So copy the entire command and paste it in the CMD window. And with this, the file has been transferred inside the temp directory. The file is avb ctl. The file has been transferred. When the files have been transferred, you will now have to use the adb shell command. So type in adb shell and your phone name or the phone code name should now be visible in the CMD window. In our case, the phone code name is shown here. After that, type in SU 
and you will now get a super user request on your phone so you will get a prompt something like this if this is the first time you are doing you will get a prompt something like this so type on grant and after that the cmd window the dollar sign will now change to hash which signifies that we have obtained root so now you will have to change the directory on your phone to the data local temp folder so copy the command and paste it here and hit enter and we are now inside the temp directory as you could see moving on let's now change the permission of the avv ctl module as well so copy the command and paste it in the cmd window and the permission has been changed as well and now we could verify at the current status of the verity so copy this command and hit enter and as you could see that the verity is currently enabled on the active slot a likewise we could verify the verification as well so copy the entire command and paste it in the cmd window and as you could see the verification is also enabled on the current active slot so as of now we have both the verity and verification enabled on the current active slot so let's now move ahead and disable the verification as well as verity on our phone so for that there is no need for root again i am repeating the root is only required to perform this check now we come to the step 2 wherein we will show you how to disable the dm verity or verification the only requirement is that the bootloader should be unlocked beforehand once you have done so let's now boot your phone to the fast boot mode but before that please download the firmware which is currently installed onto your phone it should be of the same version as well so for instance you could go to the about phone section and check out the build number or the os version in my case you could see it's the umrinxm1050 so download the same firmware which is currently there onto your phone and as you could see i have the same firmware version once you have got the firmware extracted onto your pc and then get hold of the vb meta file so the copy this file from here and now you have to transfer the file inside the platform to folder on your pc to so transfer the file here and once you have done the transfer we could now move and boot our phone to the fast boot mode so make sure to get hold of the vb meta file and of the same firmware which is currently installed onto your phone once that is done let's now proceed ahead and boot your phone to the fast boot mode so let's open a new cmd window and now type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone will now reboot into the, the fast boot mode in a few seconds so let's just wait and once that is done type in fast boot devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial id if you are not getting any id then you will have to install fast boot drivers i made a separate guide and a video on the same you could refer to my guide and get the job done once you have installed the drivers right click on the windows icon and select device manager then expand the android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown as android bootloader interface so this as well as the serial id next to fast boot signify that the pc is able to read the phone in fast boot mode and we are now good to go ahead so so now we could disable the verity and the verification check by using a single line of command i have joined both this command into one single command so as you could see this is the first command in this we will be disabling the verity as well as the verification simply by flashing the vb meta img file in the vb meta partition we have th three commands for the same as you could see just use any one of these three command as of now i'll be using the first command so simply copy this command and paste it in the cmd window once that is done hit enter and the verification has been turned off now you may reboot reboot your phone to the os so type in fast boot reboot and hit enter and your phone should not reboot into the os it will take only a few seconds so again i'm repeating you could use any one of these three commands i am using the first command and as you could see it's simply flashing the vb meta img file and disabling the verity and the verification check by doing so so with this we have disabled the verification check and again if you want to verify if both of them have been disabled or not you will have to obtain root or else you will not be able to verify so in my case my phone is already booted by a magist so as you might be aware i have obtained root let's now check it out if the verity and verification have been turned off or not for that you will again have to carry out the same steps so first and foremost let's transfer the file once again to the temp directory so open the cmd window and let's transfer the file once that is done our next course of action is to open the shell command and then use the su command as well so first of all let's open the shell environment and then the su after that change the permission of the module but first let's change the phone directory to the temp directory and once that is done you could see we are now inside the temp folder and now you will have to change the permission of the module as well so copy this command paste it here 
and the permission has been changed and now you may use this command to check the validity status of your phone so as you could see currently the validity is not disabled on our phone likewise if we check the verification as well so paste the command here and as you could see the verification is also now disabled on our phone so with this we have turned off both the validity and the verification let me show you both the status so initially I had both the validity and the verification enabled as you could see this was the initial window in this both the validity is, is enabled in slot A and the verification was also enabled in slot A then later on we have now disabled both the validity as well as the verification on the slot A which is my current active slot so guys these were the steps to verify and check the status of the verity and the verification and also the steps to disable both this aspect. If you have any queries with regard to any of the steps, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.